something showing up in every telescope pointed at 3i Atlas and it's not supposed to be there. December 19th, Chuck's 24-inch system in Hawaii. Same night, December 18th, Tony's 25cm Newtonian in Italy. December 17th, Brian's Schmidt Cassegrain in New Zealand. And here's what makes this impossible to dismiss. November 6th, NASA's Europa Clipper from 164 million kilometers away in interplanetary space. Five independent observations, different equipment, different hemispheres, different processing methods, and every single one shows the same directional structure. A compact core with elongated extension pointing along a consistent axis. Not random, not rotating, not fading, holding stable across weeks of observation. If this were instrumental artifact, it wouldn't survive different optical designs. If it were processing illusion, longer exposures would blur it out. Instead, they sharpen it. If it were viewing angle coincidence, observers in opposite hemispheres wouldn't see matching geometry. But they do. Every telescope, every method, same result. Subscribe right now because what we're about to show you is pattern recognition across independent data sets. And by the end, you'll understand why this structure demands explanation. Let's break down each observation. Start with Chuck's December 19th capture using Starfront's 24-inch telescope. Large apertures don't forgive mistakes, tracking errors, atmospheric turbulence, focus, drift all get amplified at this scale. If something shows up cleanly here, it's real. And what shows up is a tight, well-defined central region surrounded by a haze that stretches unevenly in one direction, not blooming symmetrically, not smearing with background stars. The object holds shape while the stellar background confirms the mount is tracking perfectly. This establishes baseline, directionally biased structure visible at high resolving power, not subtle, not ambiguous. Clear elongation along a preferred axis. Now, Yvonne Vasquez's December 19th, capture from California using a C-Star S50. Consumer-grade equipment, two-minute stack of 10-second exposures. Completely different optical system, much smaller aperture, and the structure doesn't disappear. The core stays compact. The surrounding glow stretches in the same general direction Chuck's 24-inch showed. Notice what's not happening. Stars remain round, no tracking smear, no aggressive processing artifacts yet the object itself shows elongated inner structure even at this modest scale. Then Yvonne's follow up the same night. 15-16 minute stack, longer integration time. And here's the critical detail. With more exposure, the object doesn't just get brighter, it gets more defined. The inner region sharpens into a narrow elongated shape with brighter condensation at one end and softer extension trailing away. Background stars stay round, no wind shake, no stacking errors, Temporal reinforcement, same instrument, same night, longer exposure, same. Orientation, if this were noise, longer stacking would blur it out. Instead, it sharpens. That's diagnostic. December 18th, Tony Scarmato in Italy using a 25 centimeter Newtonian. Long, carefully stacked sequence with known resolution, pixel scale, field orientation. The wide field shows background stars streaked confirming the telescope is tracking the object, not the sky. 3i Atlas stays tight at center. The resampled close-up reveals the inner coma is no longer circular. Clear elongation running at approximately 110 degree position angle. That's measurable, specific, not vague blur. The central condensation is sharply defined, surrounded by a broad greenish envelope estimated at hundreds of thousands of kilometers across. What matters isn't just shape, it's structure within the shape. Compact central core, elongated inner region, larger asymmetric outer coma. That's a layered system, and the elongation aligns with what smaller instruments showed from different continents on different nights. December 17th, Brian Dietrich in New Zealand using a 203 millennium Schmidt Cassegrain. Short exposures, minimal processing, clean tracking, looks quiet at first glance, faint object, no dramatic flare, but the central condensation stays compact, no breakup, and the surrounding glow is biased in one direction. The stretched inset shows the inner structure holding together instead of collapsing into noise. When an object is this faint, processing artifacts usually dominate, edges wobble, centers wander, shapes dissolve, that doesn't happen here. 
core remains locked while surrounding material shows the same preferred orientation seen from Italy and Hawaii. Different hemisphere, different telescope, different night, same behavior. Now step off Earth entirely. November 6th, NASA's Europa Clipper from 164 million kilometers away using its ultraviolet spectrograph. This isn't a photograph. It's a composite intensity map showing where UV emission concentrates. And that bright blue region marking 3i atlas, not spherical, not symmetric. Elongated along a preferred direction embedded in broader diffuse structure. UV instruments respond to gas excitation and solar radiation interaction, not dust or optical tricks. When directional structure shows up here, it's physical. Same orientation appearing in optical frames, RGB separations, time series stacks, and now ultraviolet spectroscopy from interplanetary space. Different physics, same alignment. We now have coverage from 24-inch professional telescope, Hawaii, consumer Sea Star System, California, 25 centimeter Newtonian, Italy, 203 millimeter Schmidt Cassegrain, New Zealand, spacecraft UV spectrograph, interplanetary space, different apertures, different optical designs, different hemispheres, different processing methods, different wavelengths, and every single observation shows compact core with directional elongation along a consistent axis. That's not instrumental. That's not coincidence. That's reproducible physical structure, surviving across independent platforms and viewing geometries. The structure exists. That's confirmed. What's driving it? Three possibilities. Localized jet, active vent at specific location on rotating nucleus, creating persistent directional outflow. Requires the vent staying oriented toward us despite rotation, geometrically improbable, but possible. Viewing geometry. We're catching the object at perfect angle where internal structure aligns with line of sight. Requires that angle holding stable across weeks despite orbital motion. Unlikely. Non-standard behavior, interstellar material or internal processes creating directional flow that doesn't match typical comet models. Requires physics we haven't fully characterized. All three strain natural explanations when you account for the persistence across time and the consistency across independent observers. Structures this stable, this directional, this reproducible don't typically emerge from chaotic sublimation or random dust dispersion. What do you think is creating this structure? Localized jet, geometry effect, or something requiring different physics? Drop your analysis below. And if you want updates as more observations come in, subscribe now. We're tracking this through March 2026 Jupiter encounter. Share this with anyone following 3i Atlas. The pattern is undeniable.